Debbie Birch and I'm with the Queen Anne's County Office of Tourism and I'm here today to talk about an upcoming event um, in December, December 12th and it's exciting and it needs community participation um, and it's Reeves Across America and they come to Ken Island to the American Legion post 278 and um, I have Nikki Randolph here who is the commander of that post and she is the one that spearheads this and she's going to tell us all about the um how, how we got them to come to ken <laughs> island and uh what goes on that day and how the community can come out and support welcome nikki thanks for coming in well thank you for having me you this saved is, me from having to do this <laughs> <laughs> this is a wonderful event i actually yes. went last year on my own to go watch awesome. the, the um convoy come in and to watch them leave um and can i ask you how did you hear about it i last saw year? it in the paper okay in the update and um, I was like you know my stepfather's a veteran and it was very near and dear to my heart so in any case so tell us about what goes on with Reeves Across America. Well okay as you know Wreaths Across America is the initiative that goes and lays the wreaths at Arlington every year at Christmas time. Um, the Karen and Moral Wooster I can never say their name right. <laughs> Out of Columbia Falls, Maine, they started this like 23, 30, 23 24 years ago. Uh, they had some extra wreaths that were laid over when they were did a delivery near D.C. And then they thought, well, you know, they didn't want to go them to waste. So right. they went and laid them down at the cemetery. And that has pretty much evolved into what it is today. Um, they pretty much this year their goal is to cover every grave in Arlington. I'm not sure if they have met that. They weren't too far off of it the last that I heard. But what they do is they start a convoy from and around December the 7th, uh -huh. where they leave from Columbia Falls, Mar uh, Maine. I <laughs> keep wanting to say Maryland. Maryland. It's Maine. It's Maine. <laughs> and I was there. I visited there. And it's nothing like Maryland. <laughs> anyway, I, you know, I had the opportunity to visit um, the, the, the museum and their site and their property. Oh, my gosh, the wonderful property they have with say, all the trees. big. It's huge. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Uh, I'd like to go live there permanently, <laughs> you know, just give me a little acreage somewhere yeah. in there and I'll go tip trees, whatever, for the wreaths. But anyway, I mean, it was an eye-opening experience to exactly what goes into the making of the wreaths, getting mm -hmm. things ready for this, this, this trek from Columbia Falls all the way to Arlington. Well, four years ago, I got an email out of the blue from one of the drivers of Reese Across America. They were looking for a pit stop between here and Annapolis <laughs> and uh, wanted to know if it was a possibility that we could serve them lunch. And I'm like, well, how many are we talking about? And they said about 75 people. And I'm like, okay, that's a no-brainer. Piece of cake. I'm off on Fridays. <laughs> I can do this, no problem. <laughs> so it was me and Tracy, the house manager at the Legion, and we talked about it and we had some stuff and we're like, okay, we can throw them together a lunch, not a problem. They're supposed to arrive at such and such time, and everything's all good. And when they arrive, our mouths just like hit the floor. We had it's no a huge idea. Convoy. At that time, the convoy wasn't as big. It was only like six trucks, but still six trucks, eighteen wheelers, and you know, trying to get in our parking lot and everything. That was amazing that they were able to do that. But they came in, they fed them, they enjoyed the food. We actually gave them a home cooked meal instead of you know the right. the rubber chicken and 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 spaghetti that everybody seems to get at you know your your non service organization or non-support, non-support, non-profit organizations. Right. There we go. But, uh, and they were pleased and everything. So like six months later, I get another email wanting to know if they could come back. And I'm like, well, yeah, but now that I know what you're about, we're right. going to do we're things do a it. little bit differently. Yep. And that's when we started getting the schools involved. And then the most of the community has now stepped in to, this is the fourth year that they've stopped here. They usually don't stop places. Right. They want to, you know, get out and, and, and take the mission to everywhere. But they have such a warm welcome from Ken Island community. And when the school children are out there in, in the field with their signs and they're chanting USA or God bless the USA, it, it moves you. And it if, gives you goosebumps. If somebody's not familiar where your legion is, you're right on Route 8 and right across the street is Mattapique Elementary Correct. and Middle School. So the kids walk right out and right. across the field and they're right there where the trucks are coming exactly. in. Exactly. And they're there usually, well, this year they're arriving earlier. They're getting in at about 8.30 in the morning. Okay. And the kids don't get to school until 8.30, 8.45. So our goal is to get them fed and everything and then out the door so the kids can be out there when they leave. Right. Which is just as important because whether the convoy is coming into the island or leaving right. the island, it is amazing. Right. Because not only do you have the, like the 12 or 13 tractor trailers that are coming this year, you have the Gold Star Moms. Yep. It's a big old bus full of 
uh, a lot of ladies and, and, and even gentlemen who have lost children in Afghanistan or Iraq or even Vietnam. It's a, it's a, it's, you can only get into that group when you lose somebody right. in the combat. Um, they travel with the wreaths across America every year because most of their children are buried at Arlington, so they're going to lay the wreath on their own child's grave. Then you have the Patriot Riders mm -hmm. who get picked up yep. along the way, and, and everybody should know who the Patriot Riders are. These are the gentlemen that stop the nasty people coming up and causing problems right. at and veterans' they, funerals yep. and everything. They form and they the, take it very, very yep. seriously. And if you've ever, ever been had the opportunity to be in at Arlington and just at a funeral of maybe a friend or somebody that you've known that's being laid to rest, if you just turn around at any given time, there will be a group of uh, Patriot Riders just standing in the background. Yep. They never miss a funeral at Arlington. It's awesome. But they part of the group as well. And then they pick up other stragglers along the way. But when they leave Maine, they leave with the Maryland Civil Patrol, a whole bunch of group of Civil Patrol kids. Uh, the Maine Highway Police or State Police travel with them. And the last couple of years, Governor LePage's wife has traveled okay. with them. She's part of the convoy. And last year, she did the convoy with the Patriot Riders on motorcycle. And did she really? Yeah, but the but she told me in her conversation when she was here that they tried to, uh, the, the highway patrol and everything made her get out of towns when it was bad weather or raining. She had to go ride in the bus. And she <laughs> said, I didn't like that. And she goes, and I think my husband told them that. But it's neither here nor there. <laughs> Just some of the funny things that right. goes along with the wreaths of Across America. But a lot of work is involved. We need a lot of volunteers. Um, it doesn't matter, you know, if we don't give you a specific job, we will when you get there. Mm -hmm. um, our day is going to start at 5.30, 6 o'clock in the morning, start preparing the breakfast for them. Uh, we're needing people to help serve, help clean up. Okay. But most importantly, we want everybody to line up and down Route 8. And if you can't get down to the Legion, that's okay because Route 8 up to the overpass, right. 50, all up and down 50, because they're can, coming down 301. Exactly. You can't miss them. And you can, you can park anywhere. I mean, there's plenty of parking exactly. at the schools, at the, the little the park that's there. The so church the, uh, parking lot behind yep. the Legion. People are free to There's park plenty. in there and walk in there. All we're asking is that you can't park on our property that day because we got to get the trucks yeah. on the property. <laughs> and they do get them in there. They I do was, get, I was yeah. quite impressed with that last year, how many were oh, yeah. there. They're very good at doing that. They know exactly what they're doing. It's well, well-oiled machine. And how, so people can just show up that day to volunteer or can mm -hmm. they call you ahead of time? Yes. If um, It's probably easier just to call the Legion okay. to, and just tell them that you want to volunteer for Reese Across America. And what they will do is they're going to give you another phone number to the person person who's handling all that. I didn't ask her per permission to okay. blast her phone number out on TV. That's so fine. just call the Legion and, and they'll put you in point with the right person or just show up by seven o'clock in the morning and we'll put you to work doing something. And there's going to be a lot of standing around and we expect that. Right. So don't feel like, you know, you're just here to stand around because you're providing a very, very important right. thing because you're there. The you're support. showing You're showing the support because... Yep. You know, the mission is remember, honor, and teach. And what we do at, at Ken Island American Legion and the community... We are honoring. That's mm -hmm. that's our portion of the wreaths across America because we are honoring the convoy that's delivering the wreaths. Right. And we honor those that have uh, fought and gave us the right to be able to go out there and do that for these people. Exactly. So, how many uh, and just how many wreaths will they have with them? Do you have any idea? Well, a ballpark figure. Um, <laughs> we won't hold I'm you to say, the number. I'm going to say I'm I'm hoping it's enough to carry every grave, and if that's the case, it's three hundred thousand plus. Okay, so people, you heard that three hundred thousand plus Reeves are coming, or close to that. So, yeah. and you know that's, and then they have to be put out. Yes, once they get yes. there. Yes, Saturday is the National Wreath Laying Day. Mm -hmm. It starts at seven o'clock in the morning. I think they have. Um, the gates will open up at Arlington between 7 and 8 for all the volunteers. They have a very specific way of doing it, so the earlier you can get there, the better. Right. Uh, we all know what D.C. traffic is going to be like, even on a Saturday. Right. Um, so plan on taking the train or carpooling. I know there's a bus that's leaving out of Annapolis okay. for people that want to go. It's like $15. I think there's a bus out of Easton okay. of people taking people down to Arlington to help assist delaying the wreaths. Um, but I have personally have never been there. It just seems like the next day there's always something that's got me well, already committed. I was just going to say the day before <laughs> they get there, you're a little busy getting well, them to get there. But I would like to, I mean, I would like to be there to do the wreaths myself. Right. I mean, because it's very special but, and I know how they do it. And it's not like they just grab a whole bunch of wreaths and hand them to people right. and you just flip them around on the, the, right. the wreaths. It's very solemn. You, Respectful. You know, you, you, it's one wreath 
per headstone at a time. Right. You know, and you just take, they take the wreath, they read off the name on the headstone, and they give a moment of silence, and then they place the wreath. Very moving. Very moving. But they have so many volunteers that they can pretty Wonderful. much get it covered, like, within two hours. Okay. So, and then there's other ceremonies throughout the day. But there's also cemeteries, also in Maryland, not just Ar Arlington, but, um, like Herlock, the, the the veterans cemetery up in Herlock, right? They're having wreaths delivered from wreaths across America, right? Just because they go out there and they cover those graves, and I'm not sure what day that they're doing the wreath laying. Uh, I know Chester Chester, uh, Chester Field, Field in Centerville, is the 13th, I think, is doing theirs yeah. on the 13th. So there's plenty of opportunities if you can't get to Arlington, contact one of your local cemeteries, and if they are a veteran cemetery right. or they have veterans buried there, there might be a wreath across America event closer to you than Arlington. But if you can get out to Arlington, please do so. It's amazing. And if you can't get out there to lay out the wreaths, come back in January and help us pick them all up. I was, I, that, that was going to be my next question. Right. They don't just stay there and die. No. They have to be no. taken back up. And, and it takes a lot to kill one of those wreaths right. that they bring down here because they've give, they gave us a wreath last year. And it was in December that they gave us a wreath. We hung it up on our door. And I'm sad to say this, but we didn't take it down off of our door until July. Don't and be it was sad if it was green. still good. I mean, you, you it had, was awesome. That that's well, they're hardy main main reefs, right? Yeah, all I did was Maine. just kept changing the ribbon around it, <laughs> there so you, go, you know, for the holidays change the ribbon for the holidays, so people wouldn't know the difference. But they're sturdy, right? They're wreaths and everything, and it's just, I mean, it's it's amazing. So if you can get out to the post on the the twelfth, to, to yeah, the yeah, 12th. <laughs> that would be that would be great. Um, like okay. I said, we 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 go in there and we and we feed the guys and and we get them back out on the road. Um, doesn't mean that we're feeding the whole community that day because right. some people think it's a free for all. No, but you it's... know, if there's anything left over, whatever volunteers, right. we are going to have donuts and probably coffee and maybe hot right. chocolate for the volunteers. But the main concern is everything that we're doing is for that convoy right, that day. to get them Because we want them to give them a good least hour where they can decompress. Because they've been on the road since December the 7th. Right. You know, and they still have like five more stops to go after our stop. And that's, and look how close we are to Washington and still to have five more stops. Exactly. So, so it's a lot. It is. Well, thank you so much for coming in. And again, what's the phone number at the Legion? It's 410 mm -hmm. 643 Two seven two eight. Okay, so if anybody wants more information or wants to volunteer, give a call to the Legion and they'll shoot you in the right direction there. And um, if not, at least come out on the 12th, um, 8.30ish in the morning. And We'd well, like to be there before 8.30 because that's when the convoy oh, arrives. Yeah, before 8.30, yep, right. get out there and, mm -hmm. you know, stand there and wave and thank them for coming down. And we are on Facebook. We do have a Kent Island Wreaths Across America okay. on Facebook and as well as the Legion sites and everything that has all this information that we've talked about today. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Nikki, for coming in, and thanks for the work you do for this wonderful cause. Well, thank you.